Rachel. <laughs> and for Rainer, a high play. Oh, he hug yo. Oh, oh my god. Why were you pointing the camera at my penis? <laughs> How about your face? Oh, wasn't it? I'm sorry you had to see that. Lucas, can you play a game with your face? My face is on there. Oh my god. Don't touch my camera. Why is it taking so long to load? Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go. No, thank you. That that is inappropriate language. That is inappropriate. Nathan's being inappropriate.
no, it's one big loop. All right. And again, I hope you can appreciate. Uh, we you're waiting for me, guys. Kind of boring. All right. So we try to get out here where we know we've got. Um, we do like five k's on the uh, on the weekends here. And we try to map out a two mile course, so at least it'd be a little bit more cross country ish. Okay. So listen to me carefully. First thing, it's kind of a basic perimeter. If you start, um, can everyone see to the right where my kids are by that green backstop? See it? Uh, yeah. The green dugout. Green dugout. Okay, listen. That is area one and two. Look at your map. That's Mercy one and two. High school. Let's start. Oh. It'll help if you don't talk. Just let yeah. me talk, then we'll talk. <laughs> Get that? That was kind of confusing. I know. We'll start over there at one and two, and then basically what you're going to do from that point, you're going to kind of, and I'll review it all. We're going to do a big perimeter around this set of forest here, these trees. That's you're going to go through two sets of woods. One is back there. One is way back over there. That would be areas nine through 16. And then the X, double X's through 23 and 24. Again, I'm going to review it all in a minute. Then we'll go along this tree line, go along this tree line, and then you guys see this road that goes out back that way? There's a park back there. We're going to hop along that road, which should be areas 28 to 34, and that's going to bring you back to this open tree line in front of these tennis courts, and the finish line, the chute, is right there. And you won't have any So again, it's a big, big perimeter. The only difference, look, between 17 and those X's is kind of a big U-shaped pattern. See where your bus is back there? Look. The party We're going to go along this, this, uh, the party this uh, road and circle back. So that's kind of the gist. So I start from the beginning and then I'll, then I'll let you guys ask questions. Right? It's cold. We're gonna, guys. So cold. Guys. Oh, yeah. And I know some of you are gonna be good runners. And I don't want you to get lost. Nathan. Right? We start at one and two, oh, which is again back by that green dugout. Oh, Nathan gets and then we're gonna shoot lost. right along one and two to <laughs> so three. Courtney. Three is that big tree right there. And then four is the edge of those woods. You can see a cold way back over there. Yeah, Mike. Okay, now listen. I've got it marked. Very important thing at three. There's a big sinkhole. I put a big circle around it, put arrows telling you to stay away from it, and drew arrows to keep you along the chute. It's very obvious, but I know when you're trying to get off to a good start, that's the last thing you're thinking about. Right? It just developed. We've got you off. So when you, when you go off one and two in your chute and you're running, you're going to want to taper left immediately so you don't fall in that hole. You got it? You're going to go along yes, sir, here, Mr. Crab, sir. Along here, see the cones? And you're going to turn right at four and five. Look at your map. Four and five. Then you're going to shoot. I'll ask questions at the end, I promise. You're going to stay along that fence line between five and six. Take a look at your map. Five and six is the forest and the baseball diamond. It's very obvious. You can't. You can only go one direction. Get it? There you go. Yeah, uh, actually, actually, there's four directions, not on five. Uh, you turn at uh, six. Look at six. Six to seven, you're going to go along a playscape, and you're going to stay between the playscape and the forest. Stop. There's a bridge there. Stop and play. We. You go over the bridge, and then at seven and eight, you cut it right. Look at seven and eight. There is a set of tennis courts there vaguely on the map. Do you see them? When you come out to eight, you're almost going to be parallel to where we started, and you're going to do a hard lap to go across the street. And you can see my kids way, way down there putting cones down right now. Hi, kids. They're gonna, it's all painted with marks. It's all marked off at every turn. I'm totally but you're going to go into the woods at I'm 9 and 10. Kidding. It's marked before the street. It's marked after the street. It's only one Are you with me so far? Yes. Oh, all right. Like... No, you will. It's not hard. It is? No one screwed up yeah. last week. He said no you can take 9 up. and 10 to 11. Nobody's... And I've got every fork. There's four of them in this forest over here marked. If you screw it up, you don't know how to read paint and arrows. Seriously. I mean that sarcastically I don't know how to read at all. seriously. All right? You're going to turn right at 11, left at 12, left at 13. Look. And then you're going to turn right at 14. 14 in the five times we've ran here is the only spot one kid got screwed up. I put a branch there. I marked it. The poor girl ran from 14 all throughout the woods. It was, it was, we lost her. It was bad. All right? But it's marked very well. Did you end up we'll finding look in a minute. 14 is going to go to 15 and 16, no, which is again way past the bus. You see it? <laughs> and you're going to come out by that collection of garbage seats. You see them all yeah, way, yeah, way down there by like the third base. Yeah, the kids are coming out. out. I've got a spray oh, yeah. paint. Yeah. Listen, guys, whoa. You're going to go between 15 and 16 across the street to 17. At 17, I've got a spray paint again. You're going to turn right. 
Now look over here. Do you see one, two, three, four, five cones? You're going to come down that way. That's 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. At that point, you'll be right here. Look, right here. I've got it marked. It's hard to see because it's wet and dark. And at that point, you're going to turn around that baseball diamond to do this shoot. Do you see this collection of X's? Yes, sir. That's this shoot right here. Stay in between. It's a big lane. Bicentennial won't let us mark there because it screws up the soccer field and the baseball right diamond. Shoot. Hey, hold. Keep it down. <coughs> All right. So those are the uh, football end zones. Yeah, they're end zone markers, exactly, Coach. You stay along that chute, and it's going to take you all the way to the edge, and you're going to turn right. Those last double X's are all the way down there, way down where you see my kids. I've got it spray painted and marked with arrows there, and you're going to turn into the woods again. So the double X's, the last set of double X's, guys, right here, right here, these last double X's will then take you through the woods all the way to 23 and 24. 23 and 24, you can't see it. See this red garbage can? This red garbage can. You have to leave the pack. The porta potties. You have to leave the pack. All the way back there. Oh, I love porta potties. by those houses. There's 23 and 24. I've got that spray painted. You're going to go along this tree line. You're going to go along this tree line. Along this tree line. And then see where these ducks are hanging out? Ducks. All the way down there. Oh, Maybe ducks. There'll be a cone there. That'll be 27. Look at your map. Quack. Quack. Guys, that's 27 at that point. You'll turn, you'll be turning right at 27, and then coming along the chute all the way to 28. 28 will stop you, and this 28 through 34 is basically this uh, cement path. You're going to go down it, around by the uh, playground, and come out right here. My students haven't marked it yet. They're getting there. So probably shouldn't wear spikes. You can, because where this uh, 28 through 34 are, guys, you can stay on the, the grass, too, but we're basically using the cement path. Okay. We have one kid that wears spikes to fight. Okay. Right? But, if you, but if you're worried, I mean, guys, it's, it's wet, it's muddy, low spot down there. Definitely wet back there. I mean, it's raining. It's been raining all day. Right? The only area yesterday, last week, sorry, the kids got screwed up, was 27. Take a look. 27, 25, 26. You see that little area? That is this area right over here. See the cone now it's put in? Many kids did not catch that cone. And then look, see my kids running? They got lost in some kids. It didn't affect the race because they were towards the end. They started running back through those tufts of trees. I've got it spray painted, spray painted, spray painted. Just like he's running, it's a straight line. <coughs> yeah. Some kids, guys, at that last orange cone went in through the woods and did kind of figure eights and were like, what do I do? What's going on? It happens. I, we, we'll get a coach out there to make sure to it up. But I promise you guys, from 23 to 24 to 27, I've got it marked periodically with arrows to say, stay here, stay here. It's essentially stay along the houses. We want to make it fun for you. We hope you like the course. Our like kids love it. Uh, we raised frost. One person day. goes away. Again, you go through two sets of It's clean now. Bye, camera. This is getting boring. What do you get? Question. Somebody had a question.